Hey, this is Ed Ferrari from Foundry, and in this video I'm going to discuss macros. So we're going to record a macro. Uh, what a macro is, is it's a way to record a series of steps, usually repetitive tasks, that you don't want to keep doing. Uh, it's basically a time saver. So to get started, I'm going to import an OBJ. So I'll come over to File, Import, and I'll double click this OBJ to open it. I'm going to leave the import options at their defaults, and I'll click OK. So this uh, OBJ is a mesh fusion output item that I've saved. Um, it's pretty dense, but it's airtight, and it's upside down. Uh, I happen to know that this is the top right here, and this is the bottom. Uh, so I have a bunch of other parts, uh, and let's say I have a hundred other parts that I want to place in a scene, and they're all flipped. Uh, I, I need to rotate them 180 deg 80 degrees in the Z axis. So we're going to create a macro um, to do this so that I can just click a button and uh, it will uh, flip. So I'm going to come over to my uh, folder where I have the item and I'll select it. And now it's selected in items mode. I'm just going to come over to this bottom right corner where I have this red circle and when I click that, we have the macro options. So I'll click the record button to start recording the macro. So when I click this, everything that I do is going to start being recorded. So I'll click the button. It will tell me that the last recorded macro hasn't been saved. That's fine. I'll just click yes to discard it and record over it. So now you can see we're recording. Uh, if I want to stop recording, I would just click the little square. But we're going to start uh, doing some steps. So I'll press 3 for polygons mode. I'll press E for rotate and then I'm just going to rotate this 180 degrees in the Z axis. And then I'll press Q to drop the tool. And even though my wireframe is uh, pretty dense because this is a, a dense uh, mesh, I can see that the shading is a little bit off. So I'm going to come over to the Lists tab, and under Other Maps, if you don't see that, you can just expand it right here. I'm going to right-click on my Surface Normal and click Clear. And you should see that the shading has corrected itself, so now it's looking a little bit better. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do, so I'm going to stop recording this macro now, so I'll click on the stop or the square icon. And if I want to repeat this, I can just press the play button to the right of the record button. And there, Moto has gone through all of the steps of flipping it in the Z and also uh, clearing the surface normal again. So I'm going to save this, so I'll click on the little uh, gear icon and I'll save it to a file. And for some reason, it saves it in my content folder, which is okay for now. We'll say we'll change that in a minute. I'm just going to call this um, flip underscore mesh, and I'll click save. So it was successfully saved. Now I'm going to open up my. I'm going to come to system and open up my uh, run script folder. You can also get to that by pressing Shift F5. And this is where we would run that script from. But I just have to quickly uh, open up my other folder first. And just uh, come over to System, Open Content Preset Folder. So here it is. And now I'll come over to System, uh, Run Script. And I just want to uh, cut this Flip Mesh LXM into uh, this folder here. So now if I select this and cl uh, click Open, it will actually run that macro. So the LXM is the actual macro. So now if I want to assign this to a key, it's pretty easy. I can do it in one of two ways. I can either uh, bring up the command history by clicking on this bar here and dragging up. That reveals the hidden command history window. Um, this is also available by pressing F5. So it's the same thing. So I'll just use the F5 method. So here is flip underscore mesh dot LXM. If I right click that and choose map command to key, uh, it allows us to assign a key. So I'll just choose shift control B and it says that it's already assigned, and that's because I've already done this, so I'll click OK, and that will ask us if we want to overwrite this, and I'll say OK. So now, if I press shift Control b we have a quick way to uh, flip our mesh. And again, shift Control b it flips the mesh. So that's a quick method for recording a macro, and you can use this with a multitude of uh, modeling techniques and any basically any task that is repetitive I would highly recommend creating a macro for. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, please stay tuned to Moto Geeks TV for more videos.